Hello, movie review, X-Men First Class. I really liked X-Men First Class. I love these kinds of movies. They had all of the, uh, all these new dudes with all these cool new powers and stuff, and they had, like, the origins. They even had Wolverine in there at one point. Maybe I'll have, like, spoiler alert or whatever, but, um, yeah, um, yeah, good acting, and, um, but there was one part that was kind of weird, and it's that I didn't realize, but like that girl, the blue girl who could like transform into other people, they had her in it, and supposedly she's really old, like she's the same age as those old dudes, you know, Dr. X and uh, Professor X and uh, Magneto, because like Professor X, holy shit, am I like giving a spoiler alert? Anyway, pr pr Professor X like met her when they were both like eight years old, because she was like a homeless kid. And he's like, oh, don't worry, you're, you're like me, you know, but I never knew that. I, I mean, I thought she was just one of the followers in the movie because she looks young. But it's like, if she's just as old as them, and, and she was like basically the brother of Professor X because they hung out and they were best friends since they were like eight. I, I guess maybe he even adopted her. Like, there was no reference to that in the X-Men movies, all the X-Men movies, the first ones that came out, and she kind of just took the orders of Magneto and didn't talk at all. So it kind of seems a little bit sexist, but I mean, I know that's that's because they didn't decide to put her in the first one, you know, they're kind of writing backwards and stuff, but yeah, <laughs> it's kind of funny, kind of sexist that way, but uh, yeah, but the oldest of X-Men of all of them is Wolverine, but anyways, uh, yeah, good, good, good graphics and um, yeah, no, not, no cheesiness or unrealistic, uh, like script or anything like that, and they had the same dude, the same bad guy for Max Men Wolverine. I could just keep watching more and more of those movies. I love superhero movies like, um, what's it called? The, um, the Heroes, dude. Whenever the new Heroes ones comes out, I want to watch that. I love that. Yeah, and you know, all the superhero movies. I'm totally into into those. And yeah, X-Men's good. Um, um, yeah, it shows, you know, how, how they can, how they can uh, find their, their powers and concentrate the right way. And, um, yeah, it's, I think it's kind of appropriate for how the world is nowadays, too, you know? I mean, in X-Men, isn't it interesting how in X-Men, it's, it's, it's the radiation is what caused the mutations and all the people which gave them superpower. Same thing with, um, with um, that other superhero movie that came out, The Fantastic Four, same thing. Astronauts that get hit by the radiation, which mutate. Uh, the Incredible Hulk gets hit by the radiation, mutates. And so now, you know, according to New Age religion, you know, we're all getting hit by by radiation and we're mutating into a new species and so we're all gonna have superpowers. So it's kind of like our psychic powers are, t t you know, tuning in to the, uh, what's actually going on and we're writing movies about it. Yeah, and I think it's true. I think we are getting on new superpowers. Um, and we can all, and even, even, maybe even to the script of the movie, like we're all getting our, super, our own special superpowers. The interesting thing about X-Men is that people become like animals, you know? Like you have the little girl who, who, who could fly and she was a bug, but not only did she have the flying powers of the flying, you know, the little, the, the wings, but she could spit acid like how bugs do. So maybe she just liked bugs and stuff, so she became bug power, so. Maybe we'll bring back animal power, you know? Like, my animal is the coyote, I'm the coyote. And the coyote's powers is he's like, you know, he can like, he can, he's very adaptable, he can live anywhere, you know, run around and um, live frugally and this kind of a thing, you know, the cunning little scavenger and stuff, so to, to uh, develop my coyote powers, you know, so, um, yeah, um, and, um, yeah, so anyways, I like X-Men. <laughs>